Coldplay, Muse, Ed Sheeran, they may all sell out stadiums, but they all started out playing in tiny venues, the kind of places which are now closing all around the country. In London, 40% of small music venues have shut in the last decade. Our entertainment correspondent, Colin Patterson, is in one of London's largest centres for live music. Colin. Yeah, in the 1970s here in Soho, there were more than a hundred live music venues. Today, there are just six. So that's why tomorrow, the owners of small music venues from all around the country are gathering to discuss this decline and see how this trend can be reversed. We have to achieve. A famous venue in Leeds lying empty. This place is one of the iconic venues, it was, you know, to see it when it was full all the time, week in, week out. It's hard to describe how it feels seeing it like this, stripped out bare. It's just the shadow of its former self, really, isn't it? It's, it's like seeing a corpse, I suppose. Kaiser Chiefs, Pulp, Blur, Oasis, all those kind of bands that have come through here. You know, it's a very exciting venue. Well, it was, it's sad to see it go, obviously. All around the country, famous small music venues are closing. In London alone, it's estimated that 40% have shut in the last decade. This was the 12 Bar, it's in Denmark Street in London, and it was one of the first places that Adele played. And this is really typical of what's happening across the country to grassroots music venues. Rising property prices, licensing restrictions, people just not going enough to live music. But now the fight back begins. It was announced today in London that if developers in the capital build next to a venue, they are the ones who will have to pay for the soundproofing. At this afternoon's Q Awards, some of the biggest names in music agreed that it's time for action to be taken. Well, I guess they're, they're important to small bands and you kind of play the small places on the way up. But it seems to be uh, a problem nowadays that there's only really really tiny pubs or huge arenas to play. It's really sad to see those places closing. They're incredibly important to like a band coming up, practicing, you know, you think of the Beatles playing 10,000 hours in Hamburg. It's like, bands need those spaces. But if you can do it with an instrument and a voice in a small room, then you, you've probably got something. But we need those platforms, we need those stages. They're, they're very important. The live music industry is currently worth £1.6 billion annually in the UK. For that to continue, small venues will have to stage a successful comeback. Colin Patterson, BBC News.